Hey y'all, it's Andrea here at VW Family Farm and we are taking you guys around. We've got a lot to get done today. We have a fence broke over here at the edge of our property. So we're over here fixing that. Uh, Lane has got that going. Uh, we're patching it. So we're gonna get that fixed because we're about to move some cows up here. We told y'all in the last cow video that we split our herd, one with the new South Pole Bull and one with our black bull that we've had for quite a while. He is actually a Sim Angus bull and that herd is coming up closer in this quadrant of our uh, pastures that we rotate. And then we're gonna put that other herd like catty cornered as far away from them as we can get them so that the bulls won't try to fight and get in with each other and the cows uh, will just stay with their bull, I guess you could say. And then when the breeding season's over here in a month or two, we will put them all back together. So we gotta get this fence fixed so that they're in a secure area because this is right up here by the highway. And then we're going back there to move some cows. And then we're gonna do some garden stuff when we get back to the house. Lane has actually never patched a fence that was broke. That was a, This is a newer fence and it's um, gotten broken and split. So this is a really tight fix because it's not an old wore out fence. So he's having to put a tight little patch in it never done this before but he's a lot like Ben he'll just jump in there and try and he'll just figure stuff out so he's getting it fixed you can see this fence stretcher he's using we've got a lot of tension on this fence and then he's putting a little patch in it um, because it was tight like I said it was brand new there's no getting that those actual pieces twisted back together so he's put in a little um, spacer I guess you'd call it uh, to get them patched back together and anytime you're working on barbed wire fence a good pair of gloves is a great thing to have thankfully on this it's still clipped up to the t post because it just it got broken down here so we don't even have to go uh, down through their clipping this is this is fixed and now it is blowing up a thunderstorm just right over those trees. It's starting to thunder, so I guess the cows are gonna have to wait a few minutes. All right, we're going to try to race the storm and get some of these cows moved because they need some shelter and they need some shade, even if it doesn't rain. So, uh, but we've gotta go down here and look at udders because we had some mom and babies separated yesterday that Ben and I came down here and got back together. We wanna make sure nobody looks like they have a super full udder that means they've been away from their calf for overnight. And if not, I think we're good to go to move these up. We'll also look at the other side for udders in case we have calves over here that belong over there. All right, so this this side of the fence looks fine. Nobody has a full udder, so that tells me they're not missing their calf. We're going over to the side with the Red Bull. Uh, Red Bull, get it? Lane, will you let us in? And we're gonna see if we're gonna stroll around here and see if we see any full udders. If not, I think we're good to go to start moving these a little further apart from each other. We're gonna keep them where they can get uh, right here to this central location for a while in case anyone is separated but we're also making this pen really big where they can go way up towards the highway where the pond is and more shade. Um, and I just didn't want to do that if I was pretty sure that they were separated, but if I'm fairly certain, we're going on with it. So good news, looks like we have no full udders. So we hopefully have all calves with their mamas 
and uh, we are about to hurry even further and try to beat this storm and get these cows moved to where they have more shade. So I just got showered with cow poop. We drove by and one was pooping and slinging it with their tail and showered me. Lane the cow whisperer. Are they coming? Kinda. Kinda. Really. All right. Maybe they'll find their way up here. They're moving this way, so I think you got them started. All right, so the storm is moving off that way. We're hoping we can still beat it. We're just doing as much as we can before it starts and we have to head for the house. We're trying to take these lines up now because we've got jumpers that make it electrified. We only have so many of those. Plus, if we leave these lines out here, they will break these uh, reels and they'll actually get tangled up in the wire if it's not on and break that and we don't want that to happen. Plus, these storms are bringing in cool wind, so it feels good out here now. Good time to work, huh? Yeah. All right, we may actually be about to get finished. We drive and drive up to these. Lane pulls them, and then we move on. And then when we get to the end, he'll reel it all up. Last one. Last one. Now we took it off all the posts, so he just uses that muscle power and reels it up. Looks easy. Is it easy? Very <laughs> so it's actually coming from way down there at that wood line. That's a long way to reel. There it comes. Done. All right, so we're at the very back of the uh, pasture we rotate. Lane is making it hot. Just in case they get this far, they probably won't, but we like to be safe. All right, so we are back at the house. We got the cows all situated. We are about to harvest this carrot bed, and then we are gonna take some of these seeds from Haas Tools, and we are gonna seed these in this bed for fall carrots. And so let's get busy and see what we have under there. All right, so you can see that's a bushel basket. Look at all those pretty colors. They didn't get super huge, but honestly, we planted them too late this spring. Um, and so it's already time to plant carrots again for the fall. Carrots will do pretty well in the fall here. So, but it's the deadline. We need to be getting them in the ground. So we went ahead and pulled these. Um, since then, when we planted them too late in the spring, I've really been for fall planting, trying to use my Clyde's garden planter. Uh, it's just a little sliding uh, cardboard thing that helps you know when to plant for your area. It can be used for any area because you just put a line on it when your average last frost is and when your average first frost is and slide the thing. It's pretty amazing. Helps you know when to plant. And actually, I mentioned that to y'all the last time. I get nothing for telling you that. It's just a cool little tool I'm trying to utilize uh, to do more planting um, at the right times according to our frost dates and Clyde actually heard about that we had mentioned him and he sent me some to give to you guys so we're going to be going live here in the next probably week or so uh, we'll put it out on social media and here on YouTube to tell you exactly when we're going to try to start going live some maybe not every week but on a more regular schedule um, it's looking like maybe Tuesday nights or Thursday nights we're leaning towards Tuesdays but I will let you guys know for sure and we're gonna give away several of those. We're about to hit 20,000. We might be there by the time you see this video. So thank you, that's all thanks to you guys. And we're gonna have a live where we give some stuff away. The Clyde's garden planters, possibly some honey, things like that. So stay tuned for that. So we got this bed cleaned up. It's got a few straggling sweet potato plants we put in here, but Lane has cultivated this with a little hand tool and we are gonna get this reseeded for the fall. So this is what we're gonna plant. The viper, 
the Gold Nugget, the Yellowstone, and the Bolero. So we're kind of roughly doing these in rows. The last time we kind of just sprinkled and our carrots were way too thick, which could be another reason they didn't grow so well. So I'm just kind of trying to give them a little breathing room. We are just snapping these off out here in the yard. That way we can feed the tops to the sheep. They'll enjoy that. All right, so while we were out here getting carrots, I realized that my elderberries are ready to be harvested. So rather than harvesting this whole bush right now, I'm just gonna get enough to fill up my dehydrator. You can see I'm just taking it like this and clipping it like that, and then this will fit on my dehydrator racks really well. I have done all different ways of preserving elderberries. I've dehydrated, um, and you can dehydrate in your oven. You don't even have to have a dehydrator. I have also um, made juice and canned that. I've frozen, and dehydrating is by far my favorite. It produces the darkest juice when I go to make my elderberry juice in the winter. But you can see, if you don't get out here and get them, the birds will get them. You can see some of these are already gone. So you gotta get out here when they're ready and you gotta get them on their schedule. Right, so what are y'all about to do? Y'all tell them about it. Plant seeds. Sprouting seeds for our fall garden so we can have stuff ready to replace the holes that we're gonna pull stuff out of. Right. And if we have too many plants, we're planning on setting up a fruit and vegetable stand at the end of this week. So once these are sprouted, we'll probably sell some plants. And maybe even some vegetables this fall with yeah. all this because we won't need all this. No. Um, we're planting, what did we say of each? Six rows. Six rows and they're 18 long, so. Lots. Do the math. <laughs> Lots, right? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all ready? Yep. Okay, y'all work on that. I'm going outside to replant summer squash. All right, so I am back here at the back garden and you can see like right down there. I have some empty holes where squash was or where I tried to grow squash. So I'm going to fill those in for some fall squash. Right, we are done with the cow and gardening jobs for today so I just encourage you guys if you have not replanted your fall garden stick some stuff back in the ground because I promise you I've done it so many times I thought I'm so done I don't want to garden anymore this year and then fall will come and you wish you had some squash again or uh, just whatever it is that you enjoy eating you think you're tired of it now but you will want some and now is the time to be thinking about your fall garden. So stay tuned for when we're gonna go live and give some stuff away. We thank y'all for watching and we'll see you on the next one. God bless.